Brian always has great comments too. Number of people turning 33 has learned has been increasing year over year <laughs> and will continue for the next few years. Average first time home buyer is 33. 33. Yeah. Well said, Brian. Mm -hmm. Well, it takes them till they're 33 to pay off most of the student debt or to and, move and then house. have enough income <laughs> as their income increases because uh, unlike their, they think when they get out of college, they don't deserve the corner office as soon as they get a job. <laughs> It takes a while to move up the ranks. Yeah. Yeah. We actually hired somebody like that. That was very interesting. It didn't last long. Yeah. <laughs> you weren't right. talking about me, right? No. So <laughs> you were over that. Uh, what, what are, um, Jonathan, what are we doing to help with the, housing? The shortage in new construction. Yeah. So our, our biggest push is for uh, affordable housing. I mean, we, we have created, I like the word mandate. It goes around a lot today. We have created a mandate for ourselves to create a lot of um, affordable housing. We are doing, um, I think we did a video on it before, but we're finishing up a 44 townhome development mm -hmm. in uh, Augusta, Georgia. All those townhomes will be priced under, under or right at 180. Great um, price point. I know, right? Yeah. And, and to I mean, be clear, we're not doing anything to them. We're just financing. We're lending yeah, money. Yeah, we're just lending the money. So yeah. we give preference to affordable housing yes. because we believe that people need an affordable place to live. Um, we want people to be homeowners. We want people to have rentals. We, right. we want everyone to be successful and affordable housing. You know, and Bill says it well, you know, whether it's your first home or you're scaling down or you're an investor, these affordable houses mm -hmm. are, they work for everybody. Yeah. So that's, so that one project in Augusta, we have another project in Clemson uh, or just outside Clemson. Um, we have, we have a couple of projects here in Rock Hill. Um, and, and then the majority of our single family short term fix and flip loans, the after repaired value of those are under 300, right? Oh yeah. I mean, if we took the average, let me see what it is. Uh, it'd be 230 would be our average uh, price point or value of yeah. the home. And, yeah. and to be clear, uh, to help keep homes affordable, uh, you know, I know Scott saying, can they afford the house? Well, you have to keep them uh, affordable by they go to work, the price they down. <laughs> but um, we are more than happy to take a look at um, new double wides. Right. Um, that The hybrid, they call them. Uh, modular cr off -ring. What is it called? Cross uh, modular. Mm -hmm. where Cross wide. They still are. Like they still have steel underneath the frame, but they, they bring them out and then you can add garages and stuff. Um, while it's there. So you're site building the, the garages and some other amenities. Yeah. And even tiny they look, houses. They look just like uh, regular homes. Yeah. Well, that's true. And they look tiny like rentals. And, and, and so and modular homes. We, well. we love doing rental loans. We have a long-term rental product for people who want to finance right. uh, investor rental loans. But one of the things that um, Wendy, Bill and I, we really believe in is like, we don't want everyone or, or the majority of the country or whatever it is like to, what's the book? quote rent and be happy. Yeah. So yeah. we want, we want people <laughs> to own property. Like, like having a 30 year mortgage has been one of the best drivers for building personal mm -hmm. wealth over mm -hmm. time, generational wealth. Yeah. And we want everyone to have that opportunity. Right. All right. Well said, well said.